Welcome back to another Family Time. You may be surprised to see that we have a video for you today. Since it's so nice to be together like this, we wanted to come back with a video for you today and every day, Monday through Friday, for these remaining three weeks. Yesterday, we learned about some big trees, the cedar tree and the giant sequoia trees. And today, we're going to hear more about other kinds of trees, these kind of trees are made by God to give us something delicious. Do you think you know what that is? Well, let's take a look at our word puzzle today and see who can be the first to guess what that is. When you think you know what it is, shout it out nice and loud. Did you say fruit? If you did, you got it right. Today, we're going to talk about the fruit tree, and specifically, we will learn about the incredible apple tree. But first, let's take a look at your incredible activity pages you sent in from yesterday. Weren't those incredible? Now let's go to South Africa to meet a family who lives there who will teach us how to say good morning in Afrikaans. Fasten your seatbelts. Here we go. Hi, we are the Stradom family from South Africa. My name is Yeben. My name is Bronwyn. My name is Amana. My name is Micah. We'd like to teach you how to say good morning in Afrikaans. When we say good morning in Afrikaans, we say Goeiemorgen. One more time. Goeiemorgen. That was lovely. Now, can anyone tell me what time it is? It's time to read our Bible verse. That's right. It's time to read our Bible verse. For today's verse, we're going to go all the way back to the very first book of the whole Bible. Quick, who can tell me what book that is? If you said Genesis, you're right. We're going to go to Genesis chapter 2, verse 9a. That verse says, And out of the ground Jehovah God caused to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. And out of the ground Jehovah God caused to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. Now, let's have you say this verse all together as a family. We'll put the words on the screen. Are you ready? One, two, three, go. Good job. Now let's go back to South Africa and learn how to say this verse in Afrikaans. We would like to tell you today's verse in Afrikaans. Today's verse is Genesis 2 verse 9. Genesis 3 verse 9. In the year of God, it all on the boom, out the ground, let it spread. Now it's time to do our activity page. You can find it on page 50 in our Coloring and Activity book or on our daily printouts page. So 
pause the video while you do the activity page together as a family. And then when you're all done, come back and we'll show you what we did. Nice job. And now, here's what we did. And don't forget to send us your activity page by clicking on the share button on the family time page. Have you ever visited an apple orchard? If you go, you'll see it's not only fun, it's also delicious. And you'll see that there's a lot of different kinds of apples. Like here are two of them. This red one here is called the red delicious apple. The red delicious apple. This apple is the most popular in the United States. Then there's this green apple. This green apple is called the Granny Smith apple. This one is the one that we use to make delicious apple pies. It's not as sweet as the Red Delicious. This one's a little bit... a little bit more tart, but it's still delicious. So I can't decide which apple I like best. The Red Delicious Apple or the Granny Smith Apple? Which one do you think you like best? I have an idea. When you turn in your activity page online, write down in the comments which one you like best. And then tomorrow in the video, we'll let you know which apple is the most popular family time apple. God cares for us in so many ways. In fact, His caring is all around us all the time, and we may often not even recognize it, but it's there. We already saw that God's gentle care is seen in the rain that gives water to the plants and animals, and to us as well. And God cares for us by giving us all kinds of trees, leafy trees that give us fresh air to breathe, big strong trees that give us wood for our houses, and even delicious fruit trees that give us delicious fruit to eat. Fruit trees are amazing, and they really show God's amazing care. So the next time you happen to see a fruit tree, slow down a little bit and take a moment to thank the Lord that God said, let the earth grow trees. According to their kind of growth, and God saw it was good, yes, good. God said, Let the earth grow trees, grass and herbs and fruit with seeds. According to their kind, they'll grow. And God saw that it was good, yes, good. God said, Let the earth grow trees. In yesterday's story, we heard how the strong ocean waves were threatening to break through the dikes and destroy the whole village. But because of the courage of two young boys, the whole village was saved from the huge waves. But do you remember that although it was saved from the waves, water was still leaking in from somewhere and a whole lot of water. And it was rising higher and higher, flooding the whole town. What do you think is going to happen now? Click on the play button below and let's listen to the second part of this story to find out together. Oh, this story is really something. 
and I can't wait until tomorrow to hear how it ends. But this is the end of our time today, so until tomorrow, I'd like to thank you for joining us for another Family Time. As for me and my house,